What up, man? This is Ramon Rodriguez. Welcome back to my channel. All right, we're going to do part three of Pesca Pesca Fluence interview, man. Let's go. Well, Peso, Peso, it's definitely been a blessing chatting with you this eve or this afternoon. Uh, I understand you got a show later on, so we ain't going to hold you too long. Uh, any shout-outs or closing remarks you want to leave to people before we get out of here? Man, Peso, Peso, man. Free Julo, you know what I'm saying? Free Air Train, free... Can you say anything like motivational for us? Sent you free stacks, free action. You know what I'm saying? If it can you say anything motivation for the people that's trying to make it in life? You know, I mean, uh, yeah, man, uh, shit. shout out to yourself, business high spear, shout out payday, you shout feel me? Out shout out to the whole splash, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, shout out my granny, you know what I'm saying? I know we're going down, um, uh, hey, yeah, man, follow me, peso, 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 peso on all platforms, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, and shit, shout out Chicago, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've been listening to Chicago music all about 15, 16 years old. Ever since Keith came out, I've been, I've been on that. You know what I'm saying? All the rappers, you feel me? So it's all love. Yeah. Hey, yeah, shout out DJ U. Show that. Peso, peso. I appreciate you, brother. And just one more thing. A message to the youth that's watching. Man, stay in school. <clears throat> stay in school. Rap is not for everybody. Yo, but guess what? I was set up, nigga. I been kicked out of every school, nigga. Matter of fact, I got one of my high school uh, principals mad because he cussed. I went to an alternative school, third grade, right? So back in that school, everybody was out of control. You, there was another detective when you went inside the class, right? You know what I'm talking about? My, um, my, uh, I got in trouble. So my principal cussed at me. And I said, I'm going to tell my mom. And he said, so then I told my mom, right? So then... My mom basically didn't do much. Basically, the principal said that I cussed that head. My mom believed the principal. No support, you feel me? Like, why would I lie? So then when I showed back to school, I had to spend a whole day in tech because I snitched on them, you feel me? Like, when I was trying to fucking defend myself to this motherfucker and tell my mom, <laughs> this motherfucker made me feel like a dumbass nigga put me in tech all day. And, and, and my mom didn't do, man. If I had a white mom or a black mom, she would have went in there and checked the fuck out the ass. But I had a motherfucking, a mom who didn't defend her child, bro. Literally, my mom told me that. She said, she believed the teacher because she said, man, if you, imagine how you have me at home. So imagine how you have those teachers. So she was always on the teacher's side. Like, who the fuck says this type of shit to their child? So when I was young, I never had no, no protector. I was protecting myself, you know? You know, and then so I pissed the principal off because he was trying to catch me the whole two, four years that went in that, in that damn school. He was trying to catch me do something with drugs or something. He never called me with anything. So he got so mad because I wouldn't dig right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wasn't fake to him. I, you know, I wouldn't say what's up, nothing. He couldn't catch me with nothing. He would look dumb. So what he did was he failed me every year. So I could never graduate, and everyone graduated from fucking Thurgood from a fucking alternative school where you got bad kids and I'm fucking working hard, my nigga. So, and then when I told my, my teacher about that, the only teacher that cared about me in that class, she told me, if you feel like the, the school is corrupt, get out then. She literally told me to get out if I feel like the school is corrupted. So what I do, I got out with my stupid ass, nigga. So how I've been set up, bro. Nigga, my, literally, niggas have been setting me up to fail, my nigga. <laughs> you can believe me or not, but obviously y'all ain't gonna believe me until I until I'm up there, baby. And we gonna get up there, y'all. Y'all gonna y'all gonna see the story. Documentary finna come out, you know. Listen to your mama and your daddy. Stay in school and no, stay in sports. Take that sports shit seriously. Man, the bags out. I wish I was standing in baseball. your kid to keep going no matter what never quit right all right my parents have taught us the opposite my parents have taught us that if you're no good then we give up on you and you're no good so fuck you quit and you tell me why we used to box we was undefeated in five states and as soon as we we lost one match you feel me then we try to come back and fight again then we lost two match right they see no our parents stopped taking us to boxing So that right there teaches us what? Exactly. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, rapping out for everybody. Don't, don't think that. Who knows, 
where I could have been. I was the I was the champion of the five states and I was the golden the silver gloves and golden gloves champion. And when I lost two fights, they started taking us to gym. So not only does that teach you kids to stop fucking to to to, to quit when he when it gets tough and to be a quitter, but that also but but that's that's come on now, do I have to fucking explain myself? It's because you see everybody else doing it, then you got to rap or sell drugs. You don't have to do that. It's not player. Uh. Exactly, nigga. This ain't no fun, bro. I don't, I don't, I'd rather have a job. I've been there, done that, where I had the motherfucking police on my ass investigating me, bro. It is not a good feeling, bro. But nobody wants to hire me because I'm a motherfucking piece of shit. I can't even sell drugs out here because obviously I take too motherfucking long. So I'm gonna have to. I still have to do what I have to do. I still have to fucking probably upgrade a coke or something. But I ain't gonna stop until I'm motherfucking dead or something because the world don't stop for nobody on my mind. Saying to, for your mind to even think like that. But anything, bro. You be an astronaut, you be a doctor, you be a lawyer, you know what I'm saying? You can play baseball, you play basketball, play football, tennis, whatever. You don't gotta jump off the porch and sell drugs or go kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's a message to the youth. So, Don't let the internet fool you. So that. You know what I'm saying? Once again, peso, peso, appreciate you. T-A-S-F or T-S-F. Them three letters, hard to put together if you ain't used to saying it together. T-S-F business, man. The South family, the Splat family. Texas shit forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yes. They sent feather. Look, 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 look. Remember how the black dude was like, I don't know if you seen that last interview, but he, the black dude was like, when they were doing a shout out, the black dude told him, told him what to shout out. But that's kind of bad though, because you're basically giving this man power of your brain. You feel me? Like like a little hoe, like, like nigga, you're not saying it right. I'm cool with you. I'm telling you how to do it. Oh, for real, bro. Yeah, this is how you do it. You see what I'm saying? So now his ass feels that, feels that vibe, feels that confidence, and now he's telling him what to say to and sell drugs or go kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's a message to the youth. So, Don't let the internet fool you. So you know what I'm saying? Once again, peso, peso, appreciate you. T-A-S-F or T-S-F? Them three letters hard to put together if you ain't used to saying it together. T-S-F business. Look, he's gonna try it. Look, he's gonna tell him what to say again like a little hoe, look. This is, what, this is what black people do, bro. They check you. They make you double guess yourself. So they can be like your boss, be your brain. This is what happens from them saying, nah, I ain't cold. When you say you cold, they like, nah, I ain't cold. I just lost my jacket. You feel me? Like, they think you're cold. But I'm not going to agree to you and say yes. So it makes me look like you're wrong and I'm right. It's the same fucking shit. It's, it's in general. It's the same shit. You know? But... If you can't see through that, then, motherf then that motherfucker won't think he bossing you around. He's smarter than you look. You gonna try to tell him what to say again? Look. In the South family, the Splat family, Texas shit forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's yes. Show that. They send feathers. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Shout out to Royalty Productions. Gang. Yes, sir. Okay, well, Pastor Pluma was like, his friend was right there was like say shout out to uh he was like he ran out of shout out so his homie told him what to shout out so he shot it out first of all that looks two ways if your homie tells you to shout something out and you shout out makes you look like you're his hoe right makes you look soft Pezzo Pezzo Pluma noticed that and felt that that's why he didn't repeat himself when his homies did it again he said big business you feel me in the beginning dude said TSL and then Pezzo Pluma I mean, best, best was like, yeah, yeah, TSL. This time, do said, big business. Like, you forgot it. Like, nigga, I ain't forget shit. Don't tell me what the fuck to say. It makes you look dumb. That's why these motherfuckers make you look dumb. They kind of toxic in a way, bro. They think for you, that's toxic. But best, 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 best caught the vibe and didn't repeat himself. I'm a mom. Yeah, stay away from motherfuckers like that that want to think for you. They low key toxic. I can like they your friend or my mom. Cut them niggas off, man. All right, man, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and listen to my music. Call me your favorite part of you. Tap the notification bell. Turn your notifications on. Oh, yeah, I'm whispering because I have an Aquarius weird-ass motherfucking dad who had the crib instead of looking for work.
that's here dedicated his life to listen to what the fuck I'm saying instead of fucking looking for a job. But it's okay, though, because my mom loves bums. She'd rather kick her son off out than her bum husband, you know? So it's okay. He's living life. He's doing him. But I have to whisper because of the weird, frustrating feeling knowing people are listening to me. All right? So stay tuned. We got big things coming up in this channel. All right? If you want to donate my channel, catch that. going to be in the bottom of the description. If you want to follow me on actually. IG, my social media is gonna be in the bottom of the link description. Alright, stay alright, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of In the Day in the Life of a Coma Rapper.